We draw a sky scanner. Awesome. Those are three attacks in the air. And my opponent can not really do anything against that. A burglar rat. Let's see what he has in hand. Hello everyone! Today we will try and beat the historic pauper challenge. Yeah, you heard that right. Not only brawl decks, but today we are doing the challenge, the historic uh, pauper uh, challenge. Um, I am not the creator of the deck list that we are going to showcase of today. It's a mono black list. Um, and a friend of mine that um, played against me in preparation for this event on, an, on a really awesome Discord server uh, has beat my ass with it. Uh, quite a few times and I couldn't just I couldn't build a better deck um, this might be one of the strongest pauper uh, historic pauper decks you can build maybe we don't know we will see today if uh, we can reach the like the maximum wins for the event and yeah without further ado we are going to jump right into the deck explanation but before that I want to say thank you guys we are uh, climbing steadily with the subscribers uh, 500 uh, is a really long term goal for me, but we are going to soon crush that. And yeah, I'm very thankful for that. So yeah, let's jump right into the deck explanation. Alright guys, we're in the deck builder and as you can see, this is a pretty aggressive list. We only run 12 swamps, 4 barren moors and 4 witch cottage. Witch cottage actually is an MVP in this deck because it can uh, give one of your creatures or put one of your creatures from your graveyard back on top of your uh, library. And that is really good, turns out. So, yeah, we run um, all of the aggro black spells that we can. We have uh, Sanitarium Skeleton as a one drop. We have Footline Fiend as a one drop. Um, yeah, both generate a lot of value for being commons. Same thing goes for Burglaret. It's essentially uh, like always a one for one, which is really good for a card in Pauper. Um, the Dusk uh, Legion Sealot draws your card upon entering, which is really good. It refills your hand. Same goes for the Sky Scanner, but it's also a flyer, uh, so it can create a lot of pressure in the air. Moment of Craving is a good removal spell in Pauper, one of the best removal spells actually. This one is actually really, really good as well because it has flash, so you can flash it in at the end step uh, from your opponent. And it surveils, which is also really good in Pauper because you don't want to get mana flooded or uh, stuck uh, on a position where you can't do anything. So the surveil is actually really strong as well. Uh, now, uh, for the finishers, we have Ill Gotten Inheritance here as our finisher. This is another really good removal spell, especially in combination with. Uh, the swamps and witch's cottage uh, uh, counts towards swamps as well just so you know um, and this is uh, always online if you have an ill-gotten inheritance because they will take an, a damage in the in their upkeep and so therefore it's also a free drop that draws your card but it also deals a damage to you but that's that doesn't matter it's a very very strong popper deck and we are going to take this deck for a run and see how much wins we can reach today so yeah Without further ado, let's jump right into the games. All right, so here we are. We already selected the deck. And as you can see, we have no wins so far. Let's see if we can reach four wins with this deck. All right, our first opponent is Tatsuki, playing with Tezzeret. I am going to keep this one. We can play this tapped in our first turn. And then from then, we have some card draw, so we can uh, draw into our deck to find some more lands, some more threats. I think this is a keeper Oh, green Lanover Elves, one of the strongest commons that is available, for sure So we are going to drop the Dusk Sea Le Legion Sea a lot, sorry all right, Golgari colors. What am I going to see here? A Lazatop Reaver. All right, that is a very strong card. Let's uh, drop the Baron more here. 
tapped into another Dusk Legion seal lot. Drawing another card. Alright, looking pretty okay so far. Alright, double attack here. And I will double block here. Hopefully there is no combat trick. There was no combat trick and that is a card that I tried around or played around with when I was trying to build a good deck for this event. So, but it never worked really quite how I wanted it to. Alright, let's enter this tapped and let's pass a turn. We can flash in the Whisper Agent here. We are already outvaluing our opponent here. Alright, so he will attack into the Whisper Agent here. That is really, really good for us. We will block the Spark Reaver. Or trade, trade off. Is he going to actually do something about that? Yeah, Vicious Offering. Alright. I think we keep the land on top here. No blocks. He had to use an answer here. I think this is good for us. Because now we are in a really, really strong position from here on out. We can play this a little bit slower. He has only one card in his hand. So let's play the Sanitarium Skeleton and pass the turn again. On his end step, we will flash in the Whisper Agent. If he attacks, we will flash it in for some blocks. Oh, he will sacrifice the Doom to the center. Alright, so... Now he cannot really react to anything. So maybe now is the time to... Uh, Tendrous of Corruption the Reaper, so that he... Cannot gain more value off of him. Ooh, and another token creator. So yeah, I think he wants to outvalue us with the Spark River over time. Because he can just pay mana into it and sacrifice one of his stupid little tokens or his dorks that are not really strong uh, the later the game goes. Alright, both of these attack. Alright, I will take this one. This is a this should be a free kill. No, he will sacrifice it to draw cards. Alright. So we take four damage here. I think we can afford to do that. Alright. He'll got the inheritance. is doing work. And we will play the Sky Scanner here. Drawing us a card. And we will pass turn. He'll got the inheritance for our opponent as well. It's a pretty good card. Especially in Pauper, I feel it's one of the strongest cards. Alright. Forest from my opponent, alright. And we're already at the end step, so let's flash in Whisper Agent here. A Swamp, I don't want to see the Swamp here. Ill got Inheritance. Alright, let's play the Dusk Legion Seal lot. Let's draw a card. Lich's Oven. That is really good. Alright, let's uh, play the Witch's Oven. Let's put the Whisper Agent on top. Uh, we can draw him even. Alright. Now let's attack in the air here. And also with the Whisper Agent. He 
will trade off the uh, shepherd here for the agent, which is fine. For me. He will take a damage in the air and we will pass turn. Now he obviously knows that we have a Vispiration in hand. But uh, I think we will outvalue him the longer this game goes. Alright, let's remove this 2-2 two -two here. And apply some pressure. Alright, it's our turn. We draw a Sky Scanner. Awesome. Those are free attacks in the air. And my opponent can not really do anything against that. A burglar rat. Let's see what he has in hand. Oh. Alright, let's attack with everything here. Down to 14 already, man. Awesome. And that is the first win. Awesome. The deck performs. So first win. Free to go. Alright, our next opponent is O-Job. Playing with Chandra. I don't really like this hand. Something is wrong. Feels wrong about that. This hand though. Looks pretty good. You have to toss one back, so let's toss away the ill-gotten inheritance. And let's start with the Footline Fiend. We will drop the Burglar right now. Make him discard a card. He discards an island. The strongest card in the game. This has to be a new player. Oh, he has more islands. Alright, let's drop double footline fiends here. <laughs> uh, just like that. And attack for two. Now, we should draw into some uh, lands here, if possible. My opponent is still not playing anything. Alright, he does play something. We drew a land, that's awesome. We will smack for four. Alright. What is he doing? What is this deck? Um, he can draw some cards. Now he's tapped out. And if I find another land, I'm going to drop the ill-gotten inheritance. What was that? <laughs> I'm so curious. What is your strategy, Ojob? Alright, let's jump right into the next one. Alright, our third opponent is Laro, playing with Nicol Bolas, the Dragon God. Yeah. We, we will keep this one 100%. We have a 1 drop into another 1 drop into a 2 drop. So drop. let's drop the Fiend. Oh, we might play against the same deck here. Let's see. Let's enter this tapped. Play another fiend. He will block with the Zealot. And we will ping his face. Alright, he is already up to 3 mana. Oh, it's not the same deck. But that's a pretty good draw spell. Um. Let's make him discard a card from his hand. He discards a swamp. Alright, so he probably has enough mana. Um, a swamp. Alright, Dusk Sea Legion. Dusk Legion Sea a lot. Oh man, this is so hard for me. I always mess that name up. Alright, let's play one ourselves. Ooh, we find the mana. That's really good. Let's play another one. Ooh, and another land. That's really good. Let's attack with both the rat and the fiend. What is he going to do here? Something at instant speed? 
Nope, he's down to 12. But I think this player has a lot of uh, tenders of corruption, just like I have. So he will gain a lot of life back. So starting next turn, we will set up the ill-gotten inheritance. Very strong card. All right, let's enter this one tapped and let's play an ill-gotten inheritance here And let's attack with all of these Yeah, whisper agent coming down. We could have expected that Yeah, it's a, it's pretty much the same deck And a moment of craving on the burglar rat We have lost a lot of value and that's just because uh, I'm impatient. Alright, Whisper Agent will swing at us from this moment in time. But I am fine with that. Let's drop another ill-gotten inheritance and another skeleton. I will not attack here because he pretty much can just drop another Whisper Agent. And kill off my attacker for free. He surveils to the top, I think. So that card has to be good. Alright, he attacks with both of the agents. We will try and kill one. I do not expect uh, spells that buff. Although there could be another witch's cottage to bring him back on top. Alright, that is a really good draw spell. And yeah, uh, he even found another witch's cottage to put the Vesperation back on top. Alright, let's uh, see here. We have five mana. So we drop the skeleton for as a blocker. And then we pass the turn. I think we have this game in our pocket. Uh, we can uh, moment of craving both of his uh, agents. And those are the strongest attackers right now. And the ill-gotten inheritance will wear him off over the long run. Murder on the skeleton. Alright, that skeleton is dead. I mean, he was dead previously, but very dead. Let's uh, moment of craving the Whisper Agent here. We will not moment of craving the the Zealot here. We will take the one damage. We will start our turn. Ill-got inheritance will do its its thing. We will cycle this. Ooh, a sky scanner. So let's drop that sky scanner. That sky scanner can swing every turn for one damage. So it's a pretty scary card. And we found a swamp, so we can moment of craving his whisper agent. Because he will flash it in at uh, my end step here. Alright, let's resolve that. Alright, now. Tendrils of corruption. On that now it might be really good for us here to actually kill that off ourselves because then he won't gain the eight life right but is it worth it though we can remove his thread and then yeah I think I will let this resolve we are even life total now but if he attacks I'm gonna moment of craving his whisper agent again he will only deal one damage so I'm two nine we are basically at the same life total he has a one one but we have two ill-gotten inheritance on the battlefield so we are ahead we have uh, also the skeletons here that we can bring back in case we don't draw anything really good so let's return one of those 
to our hand. Let's play two one drops now. Really good. Uh, even though we shouldn't have these one drops, we have them. And we can use all of our mana, which would otherwise be useless. Oh, and he finds a, an ill gotten inheritance himself. That's really good for him. So, two triggers on the stack here for me. We find a sky scanner. That's really good. So, let's drop that. Let's draw another card. Burglar Rat. That's really good in this situation where it's like a grindy endgame thing. And we will make him discard something. He discards a Tendrils of Corruption. So, that must mean he has another one in hand. Alright, Footline Fiend will ping his face again. He's down to 13, but now he has also um, something that gives him value over time. But our ill gotten inheritances uh, are on the battlefield for way longer than his. So we will just outvalue him with the hours that are in on the battlefield right now. And we will try to attack him now every turn. Maybe we play the the fungal infection coming down for my opponent. All right, that's actually a really good card in Popper. All right, our opponent is down to ten. That is a really good card as well. We bring that back to our hand immediately. He will lose two life. We drop the skeleton. We pass the turn. Yeah. We will grind this one out. He won't attack. We will flash in the Whisper Agent at his end step. Witch's Cottage. Yes, please. So, Ill-Gotten Inheritance will trigger two times again. He's basically down to nine life now. We will uh, drop the Witch's Cottage and get a Sky Scanner back on top of our library. We will try and attack with everything we have here. If he has a Tenderous of Corruption, that is really good. We want to see if he has one. Alright, he will block off one zombie here. Or one skeleton, sorry. <coughs> if he has a Tendrils of Corruption here in uh, his hand and he plays it uh, in response to my uh, inheritance triggers, I have sacrificed my long game value to be not able to kill him so i'm not going to sacrifice them just yet but there it is we won another round so we are how many wins do we got i don't know but let's jump into the next game i think three wins all right we're playing against keeper he is playing with elspeth and yeah i think we you can keep hands like these Sadly, we will have to play the Witch's Cottage first here. But I think that's alright. Because we have really good two drops. Alright, blue. And he's playing the strongest cards. Counter spell. <laughs> oh, you're right. We didn't hit the land, so we want uh, to hit the land really bad next turn. So let's play another Dusk Legion C a lot. And we find a land! Hell yes! Everything is working as we want it to. We will smack for one. Is there something we flash? Yeah. Very dualist. I'm a little bit of an idiot when it comes to attacking into stuff in Brawl. Ah, I mean in, <laughs> uh, in Popper. I've played so much Brawl recently that uh, for me now everything is Brawl. Alright. We want to hit the land drop again. Let's play the sky scanner here. 
Do we hit the land? No, we don't. That's sad. It's a little bit unfortunate. We will attack with the Footlight Fiend. And see if he has another flyer with flash. Of course he has. Of course he has. Alright. Fairy Duelist coming down. Killing my fiend. He will smack his face. Man, that was a bad play again. Alright, he will swing with one fairy duelist. Both of them. Only one. So he really wants to prevent us from uh, dealing damage to him. Let's play the, the Dusk Legion vampire here. We still have not found another land, so that's not really good. We won't attack here. I'm interested in his wing con. Is it a mono blue flyers list? Might be actually. Ooh. This might be a tough one. Alright, finally, there is a swamp. Um, let's try and remove this one. Let's see if he has some uh, protection or something like that. No protection. All right, that will resolve. Um, we won't attack because I think he might flash something in here. First for meaning. All right, so he will draw some cards. That's for sure. Oh, devious cover-up. So, he can counter a lot of stuff. Alright, will he attack with both of them now? No, only one. We will not block that, of course. But we will attack with everything now. Just to get our... Uh, Blade Juggler online. He blocks the uh, Sky Scanner in the air, but he has not flashed anything in. Now the Blade Jugglers are online. We will play them for free mana. He will counter this. It seems like. Yeah. So counter spell goes out. Um, yeah, that's pretty sad. And he can do that a bunch of more times. <laughs> Putting the devious cover up right back on top. All right, I can see why this guy is all the way on the top here. I think people rage quit against this deck. A lot, which is understandable. Let's play this tapped. Let's try to play another blade juggler here. So to get it online we will attack with everything we have here. Alright. He's maybe thinking about something. He won't let us attack here. For some weird reason. I'm not expecting a bounce and I'm not expecting him to flash something in now, so he might just be on the toilet grabbing something real quick. Yeah, so here comes the attackers. And there is a Whisper Agent for him. That's really good for him. I think we will... We will actually remove that if we can. He will still surveil and he leaves it... No, he... What happened? Did he put it in the bin? No. Did he draw it then? Alright, I'm really confused now. I think he drew the card. Uh, Alright, we are in a little bit. 
of a bad situation right now. We really want some uh, value over the long run, so ill-gotten inheritance would be perfect. He will counter the blade juggler, shuffle the whisper agent back into his library. All right, we need some uh, something to resolve here, but it's not actually looking too bad. All right, we will not block anything here. We'll wait for as long as possible with that. All right, uh, the footland fiend will be dropped here. That actually is a pretty good blocker here. Because we, we, we can block with both of my creatures then to kill off the... Nayad? Of the Hidden Coves? I don't know how to pronounce that. So yeah, let's see here. Alright, we will end the turn here. If he attacks with everything here, we will... Double block this. So he won't attack with everything. That is weird. Alright. We try and... Tenders of Corruption the... Tutu here. He has a counter spell again. The gate coming down. Alright. Take another 4 damage. So our life total becomes dangerously low. Alright, Sky Scanner. Will help us and give us one more turn. Whisper Agent. Let's play another Sky Scanner here. We need to gain some life. So either we find another Tendrils of Corruption. Ooh, Burglar Rat. That, that would have been really good against this deck. If uh, we draw that from the start. Oh, he has another flyer. So yeah, this is not looking good. This will be our first loss here. Um, let's try and delay this as much as we can. We will take two here. So we are still alive. And if we are able to resolve the tendrils of corruption. We, but there is no way we can draw one now. Alright, burglar red and concede. GG man. So let's see if we can get our fourth win here. This deck was really strong, so might be a really strong one to build yourselves. Alright, our next opponent is Lunedict, which is a really awesome name. With Chandra here. Um I don't really like this hand, but taking a mulligan feels bad as well. We will we will try it, we will try it. Even if it's not the most optimal thing to do here. Um so let's enter the Baron Mort tapped. We are first anyways. That's a little bit of an advantage here. Red. Alright, another tapped land. Alright. Into a mountain, so my opponent tries to hit his land drops as well. We play uh Vampire. We don't find a land. Oh my god, did we just throw this four win run away? No, there is a land. Just just in time. Alright, let's play Burglar Rat here and make him discard some cards. Looks like he has not found... Uh, his land as well. That we will not attack here. How many cards does he have? That's a lot of cards. No blocks. Right, I really want to hit my fourth land here. We cannot do that. It seems like. Alright, but he has not found his third land, so we are... Oh no, I don't know what to do here, actually. We could... Like, he has both of his mountains open. I'm not going to block all of them. 
Fiend, Fiend. All right, he's developing his board. We really want to find a fourth land here. So we will be trying to find that with the Blade Juggler. Now we have to discard because we did not find a land. Alright, what do we discard here? Let's discard a rat. We have a blocker here. He has not found a land as well, it looks like. What a what a weird game, man. Shock for the blade juggler. Oh my god, and we will take a lot of damage. Oh my god, we might have lost this one. Four? Are you kidding me? That's eight damage. Oh my god. This one looks really awesome as well. So you might want to try this this one. That's 13 damage. And if he has a spell, we are dead. And he has, of course, he has a spell. This one looks really awesome as well. So you might consider this. Uh, Alright, we did not manage to uh, get to 4 wins. But it was a really fun round anyways. Um, 3 wins is fine with me. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing Popper. I hope you guys are having a blast playing Popper too. And without further ado, we will see us in the next one. Bye guys. Oh no! Wait, let's uh, resolve the the like the the windscreen. So let's go. All right, as you can see, we only got to uh, three wins. We were one win short of reaching four wins. We got a little bit mana screwed uh, in the very last game, but nonetheless, the games were very very fun. Um, so yeah, check out Historic Popper. It's a lot of fun. It's a blast to play. And let's see what we got here. 450 gold. That's pretty good. Uh, 20 gems and a memorial to glory into a, ma a millstone. <laughs> pretty awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure if you enjoyed this video to subscribe, like, share. I don't really care. Just uh, I hope you had a blast uh, watching this video and we will see us in the next one. Bye guys.